The year 2020 has been important for all of us at Microsoft, not just in fighting COVID-19, but stepping up our ambition to address climate change. We committed in January that we would be carbon negative as a company by 2030, and we will remove from the environment by 2050 all of the carbon that Microsoft has emitted since it was founded in 1975. It's a big set of goals, and we've been moving quickly to embrace them. We've increased our internal carbon tax, so it applies to scope one, two, and three emissions. These are real funds that are generated, and we're spending this money to cut our carbon emissions. We're moving rapidly towards our goal so that by 2025, all of our data centers, all of our offices worldwide will be running on renewable energy. And we're moving forward to start taking carbon out of the environment. Just last month, we issued the largest RFP for carbon removal in history to remove just in the next 12 months, a million metric tons of carbon. These are among the steps that we're taking, not just on our own, but with our customers and suppliers to reform the carbon practices of our supply chain, to double down, working together in partnership. That's what it will take. This is the decade where we need to move faster. As a company, we're committed to doing our part.